are having problems with the RE agent C when you try to enable it, it says it's not found um, that is due to something hitting your computer in other comments um, this executable is completely missing but that would be about impossible for someone to delete this so if I delete this try again it'll say you require mission permissions from the trusted installer to make changes this is a system file that doesn't get deleted you either have to have access level of the trusted installer or a system level uh, I'm running as an admin right now and I can't delete this file so something hit your computer whether it's a Trojan or some utility that you ran that ran at the system level and deleted some legitimate files others are God damn it, posting that the win re file or environment is not found and that's this file when the re agent c is enabled that file is completely hidden and in use and disappears when you disable this then that file becomes visible and delete it And when you try to re-enable it, you get this. RE agent C, EXE, the Windows RE image is not found. Because that file disappeared. So I'm going to jack this system up and show you how to recover it. So I can't delete that RE agent C, EXE right now. So I'm going to boot off of a Linux distro, go in, delete it, and show you that that file has actually disappeared. Start Linux. So Linux meant booting off the ISO. You know how you fix your Windows? Reload it with Linux. Okay, open up the uh, file browser, go to Windows, System32. So here's the RE Agent C EXE on this hard drive in this virtual machine. And delete it. And then reboot back into Windows. Windows System 32. You see the RE agent C EXE is gone. Run a command window as an admin. RE agent c.exe slash info not found so how do we fix this type eism online clean up dash image restore health and this will run it'll take a while and once the DISM command finishes, you type SFC, scan now. This is the system file checker. And 
let this run. Once the system file checker completes, go back to Windows. System 32. And the RE agent C is back. But it's still disabled. And you still get that error saying your Windows RE image is not found. Open up Google. You can either go to this link or you can uh, type in uh, Windows 10 ISO. It's usually the first Microsoft link. You want the Create Windows 10 installation media. Download now. run the media creation tool. Agree to their license. Select the Create Installation Media for USB, Flash Drive, DVD, or ISO. Select your preferences. Select different languages. Select the ISO image. And I'll put it in my Downloads folder. And it'll sit there downloading this and creating an ISO. And once the uh, creation tool is done, you hit finish. You've got your Windows ISO. Right click it, select mount. Go to sources, scroll down. You see the install.esd. Open up your browser, type 7-zip, go to download, install 7-zip. And you can right-click the install.esd. Say open archive. Doesn't really matter which one of these because they all have pretty much the same files. Go to Windows, System 32, Recovery. Select the winre.wim and select extract. Put this in your downloads folder. Hit OK. Now you have a winre.wim Copy that. You can eject this. You don't need that anymore. Go to Windows, System 32, Recovery, and paste that winre.wim 
file. Open up a command window, run as admin. RE agent C slash info. Enable. It says operation is su successful. And that file disappeared again. So that means it's being used by Windows. You disable, the file appears again. Let's enable that. Run check disk slash F. And hit yes to run this at the next boot or reboot. This is just to check your hard drive for any errors. And let the uh, check disk run its through its uh, scan. For the people that have multiple uh, recovery partitions, you can download Gpart. It's a free open source partitioning tool. And you download that ISO and burn it to a USB device or a uh, uh, DVD. So I'll reboot this virtual machine with uh, and start up Gpart. Just so you can see what it, what it looks like and what it can do. So you can resize, you can move. Let's make this about a hundred. And you can move it so if uh like your partition is somewhere weird, then you can uh, uh move it around. One of the final steps is run Windows Update and sure you're running the latest build. Uh Windows 10 h 2 is a is is the build that you should be running version 22h2 and if all else fails you can reset your PC your operating system either keep all your files or remove everything. It'll remove all these third-party apps and just redo everything. And then you gotta reinstall all the drivers and stuff like that. So to all those people who are having problems installing the last patch and having the uh, errors and everything with their uh, recovery partition, well, I hope this helps.